Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Now I've regularly um, discussed how to hem curbs in context in other videos, but I just wanted to do a sort of five minute promo of um, how to do it separately so that I can just link it. And um, sometimes you don't want to know how to make a skater skirt, you just want to know how to make a, a hem a curb. Now, I'm trying to do it here on a piece of cotton in the way that I suppose you would regard as traditional. It's um, lots of pins, very fiddly, and if I was going to be doing a large amount of a curb, I think I would get very bored very quickly. So, yes, gently, pins, iron's good, iron's your friend, and um, I'm going to come back to that. Okay, I'm going to get the iron out of the way. Now I do have a couple of tricks, one of them, I've got my machine set up on a running stitch with some dark thread and I have a curb here, I thought I had more curbs than that, I've obviously just knocked it on the floor and what I would recommend if you have a zigzag on your machine is to run around the edge of the cloth. I'll just do that as fast as I can. Okay, carefully not to pull any of the threads. And then I would allow it to curb up naturally so it makes sense to me because then it's got a natural sort of place to grip now we all know that silky stuff is the hardest to sew and that's why I've chose it for this demonstration so it's it's got something to grip onto now and then I can literally just allow the machine to take it uh, a few inches at a time, sorry I meant to go back onto running stitch and then it will be a nice curb. Okay, so that's one way. If it is a nice lightweight fabric, I'm just going to borrow this back and take out a few pins. Then you can always use the looper foot. So we've got just a little curb there, it's not very long. Uh, simple to change your foot, there's a little catch at the back and it drops out. I always find lining them up to put them in a bit tricky so I always line up like that and uh, put the actual main foot down just to catch it. Oh I'm having a lot of trouble with that thread reel aren't I? And i um, got my curb there, line it up under the machine. Now you do need to put a few stitches in just before it catches and pick it up and just allow the machine to take it. Now I've got a nice contrasting colour here so we'll be able to see how to do it. Now lots of things do have this nice round hair, um, hem, like skater skirts and well children's dressing up capes and everything. So hopefully I've done enough for you to see what the stitch looks like. And there we go, so it's quite neat and tidy. Um, yeah, obviously wouldn't be so dramatic if you had the same colour cloth. Now that's all very well, but say you're doing something like a jacket. Now how are you going to do that? Um, I'll grab my bit off the floor that I knocked off. And you, will, you need your, your hem up quite high. And you don't want it to be too bulky. It'll be too big to go through anything like that. So let's get rid of that foot and then let's put the original foot back on. So this is just a standard, comes with the machine foot. In fact, my looper foot did come with both my machines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use lining. Now, I'm going to line up the lining with the curb and then I'm going to pull the lining across 
so that I can then get the nice curve. Now depending on the material that I'm using, there's a lot to be said for using um, an iron or even a top stitch. But say we were making a nice swinger coat, you know, lots and lots of cloth. How on earth are we going to hem it? So all I'm doing is straight line, following the curve and throwing my cotton reel on the floor. <laughs> I know, I'm determined to finish it. And then I would pick up that and then go round again. So if we go from the other side, we can see that we've got that lining and that nice woolen cloth and then we can just pull it round and up and then we've got our curve which we can then go over with a cold a coolish iron and um, get it nice and smooth okay thank you for watching I do do daily sewing videos at the minute so do try and catch a few others my name's Fiona from weekly sewing bee